Hello my dear friends, I am Sujoy and today I will tell you how to solve a system of 3 linear equations by Gauss Seidel iteration method on Casio FX 901 ES and FX 82 MS calculators very easily. So let's start. So these are our system of 3 linear equations. So this is our solution. Coefficient matrix of the given system of equations is A equals to this. Coefficient matrix means writing all the coefficient values 6, 15, 2, 1, 1, 54, 27, 6 and minus 1 which is not diagonally dominant. Diagonally dominant means these are the diagonal elements 6, 1 and minus 1 and diagonally dominant means each of the diagonal elements must be equal to or larger than rest of the elements in row wise and column wise. Here 6 is not larger than 15 or 27 so it's not diagonally dominant. However, it can be made diagonally dominant by changing the rows as writing row 3 in row 1 and row 1 in row 2 you will get our new matrix which is diagonally dominant. Here 27 is larger than 6 and minus 1 also 6 and 1 and 15 is larger than 6 and 1 6 and 2 and 54 is larger than 2 and minus 1 and 1 and 1. So it's a diagonally dominant matrix. Hence the corresponding system of equations are 27x plus 6y minus z equals to 85. Similarly, 6x plus 15y plus 2z equals to 72 and 1x plus 1y plus 54z equals to 110. The above system of equations can be rewritten as if you transfer 6y and minus 2z to right hand side it will become 85 minus 6y plus z equals to 27y and if we divide the right hand side by 27 you will get x. So x will become 1 by 27 into 85 minus 6y plus z which is our equation 1. Similarly if we transfer the 6x and 2z to right hand side it will become 72 minus 6x minus 2z. And if we divide the right hand side by 15, you will get your y value. So y will become 1 by 15 into 72 minus 6x minus 2z, which is our equation 2. Similarly, z will become 1 by 54 into 110 minus x minus y, which is our equation 3. So our first iteration, putting y equals to 0 and z equals to 0 in equation 1, you will get x equals to 85 by 27 equals to 3.1481. How? I will show you. Enter the expression into your calculator. Press the fraction button. 1 by 27 into 85 minus 6y. 6 and for y press alpha and s to d button plus z. Plus here there is no z value. So we will use a as z. Press alpha and this minus button for a and press the calc button. So enter y as 0 and a or z as 0 and press equals to. You will get 85 by 27. Press s to d button to get the fraction form 3.1481. 3.1481. Similarly, putting x equals to 3.1481, our current x value and z equals to 0 in equation 2, we will get y equals to 3.5407. To do that, simply replace the values 1 by 15 times 72 minus 6x for x press alpha and right parenthesis minus 2z. Z is always there and press calc button. X is now 3.14. 8 1 press equals to and z is 0. So you will get y equals to 3.5407. Similarly for z press joystick up 1 by 54 into 110 minus x minus y. For y press alpha and s to d button and press calc. x is 
3.1481 y is now 3.5407 press equals to you will get z equals to 1.9131 for second iteration simply press, press the joystick up and find out your required equation and just press calc you don't have to enter it again so y is now 3.5407 press equals to and z is 1.9131 press equals to you will get x equals to 2.4321 similarly for y find out the expression 1 by 15 press calc and x is 2.4321 press equals to and z is 1.9131 press equals to so y is 3.5720 similarly for z press joystick up find 1 by 54 press calc and x is 2.4321 y is 3.5720 3.5720 and press equals to so z is 1.9258 so just continue the calculation and write the obtained value in a tabular format which will help you to visualize the calculation also that will impress your teacher by the organization of data and you will get good scores. Next question, when to stop our calculation? We will stop our calculation when we will get two successive values equal. That means you see in fifth and sixth iteration the values of x is 2.4254 also in sixth iteration x is 2.4254 and similarly for y 3.5730 and 3.5730 and for z 1.9259 1.9259 so we have got same values in iteration 5th and iteration 6th so uh, this is our required answer do you know you can solve system of 3 linear equations on this calculator even without doing the math using the mode 5 equation solver mode of this calculator i will give you a brief preview i have entered the coefficients into the calculator 27 6 minus 1 85 6, 15, 2, 72, 1, 1, 54 and 110 and I will press the equals to button it will give you the values x equals to 2.4254 y equals to 3.5730 and z equals to 9259 this was the preview if you want to know how to use the mode 5 of this calculator to solve system of 3 linear equations quadratic equations cubic polynomials and linear simultaneous equations you can watch the video title Casio FX 901 ES calculator tutorial H5 equation solver mode by clicking the link in this video or going to my channel the link is after the video calculations you performed on FX 901 ES you can also perform on FX 82 MS how I will show you I will calculate this 1 by 27 press 1 and for fraction press A by BC button 27 times 85 minus 6 into Y Y is 3.5407 plus Z 1.9131 and press equals to you will get 2.4321 similarly for Y just replace the values 1 by 15 times 72 minus 6 into 2.4321 minus 2 into 1.9131 and press equals to so you will get 3.5720 not only that you can also use the replay button using the joystick up to access your previous expressions so friends this was my video on gauss schedule method if you like the video please like it using the thumbs up button below and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel by subscribing you can stay connected with me and get regular updates from me so show your love and appreciation by like share and comment the video 
Your appreciation really encourages me to find out new tips and tricks every day and make videos on that. I have uploaded many videos on new molecular methods, operation research, computer science and engineering, number system, etc. If you want to watch any of my previous videos and my upcoming future videos, please visit my YouTube channel. The link is given in the video description, also embedded in this video. So thanks for watching. See you in my next video and stay connected.